Hello everybody, Chill Shock here. I'm here to give a tutorial on how to do folded wrinkles in GIMP on clothing. Here we have our basic UV wire map. It's a wire map to the front of a t-shirt. The first thing we're going to do is go layer, new layer, and OK. And then we're going to paint bucket, any color you want. the opacity so you can see through it. Then we'll go layer new layer, make a layer on top of that. Go back to the paintbrush, make our color white, and then make sure the size is about three or four inch. And on that layer we will make lines all over you can study real clothing to see how clothing folds, but for this I'm just going to make a simple fold. And once that's done, we'll go to our smudge tool and we'll make it about 20, the size. Then we will smudge that layer on these lines. It doesn't have to be perfect because we will change it later. So now that we have that smudged, we're going to go to our duplicate layer button and duplicate it. Then to our colors dialog and invert the color, make it black. Then we will select our move tool and move the black layer down a little bit, a couple pixels, so it's underneath it. And drag the black lines layer below the white layer. So here you can see we have the beginnings of wrinkles. Then in the white layer, we will merge down onto the black layer. And then we'll go mode, Change the mode to overlay. And you can see if you raise this opacity that the wrinkles are starting to form. So what we're going to do now is select the wrinkles layer, go to our blur tool. I usually change this pretty big, so like size 50. We just blur the wrinkles a little bit. You don't have to do much. Just sort of like it. Okay. So it looks a little bit more like a wrinkle. Then to make it look even better, we'll go filters, blur. Gaussian blur, and I'll usually make the values about 20 to 25. And you're starting to see that we have a little bit more softer wrinkle. And if you want to see it better, make it more distinct, you can duplicate the layer, and it comes out a little bit more. In later tutorials, I'll be showing how to do shading and such. And thank you for viewing. Again, this is Chill Shock. And please visit my shop if you have a sock. Thank you very much.